Hello everybody. Today we're going to learn how to measure and sketch angles. In order to measure angles, we're going to use this mathematical tool. We call it a protractor. The numbers that we are going to use to actually measure the angles are shown here. They can be found on the curved part of the protractor. Later on we will discuss how we actually read these numbers. The two long black arrows shown here are not actually called lines. We call these rays. The two rays begin where the red X is shown here. When we measure an angle, we take our protractor and place the bottom center part of the protractor, where there's a small circle, right above where the two rays begin. We'll demonstrate. As you can see, I have lined up the bottom center part of the protractor directly over where the rays begin so the little circle is directly over where the rays begin. The next step is very important. You must line up the blue dashed lines on the bottom of the protractor directly over the bottom arrow. I like this particular protractor because it's clear and you can see through it. The next step is to take the movable plastic arm and slide it just so it lines up perfectly with the other arrow. Now we are ready to measure. It's also important to note that you can use the left side of the protractor when lining up with the bottom arrow. I think this is best for left-handed people. I prefer to use the right side of the protractor since I am right-handed. Since I am more comfortable using the right side of the protractor to line up with the bottom arrow, this is what I have done here. Now, as I move the plastic arm, it perfectly lines up to the number 90 on the protractor. This is what we call a right angle it has a measurement of exactly 90 degrees. Here's where things get a little bit tricky. As I line the protractor up on this angle, the movable arm lines up to two different numbers, 135 and 45. Which number should I use? I like to think of it this way. If the two arrows are getting closer together, the number that you will use will be less than 90 degrees. We like to call this an acute angle. This particular angle is equal to 45 degrees. Here is a different type of angle. We like to call this angle an obtuse angle. As I line the protractor up to this angle, it also lines up to two different numbers, 152 or 28. Which one should we use? Well, with an acute angle, the arrows were getting closer together, so we use the number that was less than 90. With an obtuse angle, the arrows are far apart, as you can see by this picture here. So for this particular angle, we're going to say this one is equal to 152 degrees. Now that we know how to measure angles, what about sketching angles? If I were to ask you to sketch an angle of 65 degrees, the very first step that you would do would be to draw a single ray. The next step is relatively simple. Since we only have one arrow on our sheet of paper, we line the protractor up with this arrow. Since 65 degrees is less than 90 degrees, we want the arrows close together. So when we move the movable arm, we want it to line up with 65 degrees in such a way that the two arrows would be relatively close together, as shown in this picture. Uh, now all we have to do is make a little mark right towards the end of the movable arm. Now it's time to grab a ruler. Simply line the ruler up with the little mark that we made in the previous step, with the beginning of the ray. Let's take a peek at what our next ray should look like. As you can see here, I have drawn a ray that also begins where the original ray began. This angle has a measurement of 65 degrees. What would we do if we were going to sketch an angle that had a measurement of 140 degrees? Well, the first step is the same. Let's start with a ray. The key to sketching this angle is understanding that 140 degrees is greater than 90 degrees. Remember this was called an obtuse angle, so the two arrows should be relatively far apart, not close together. So as you can see, I have lined up the protractor in such a way that the arm is lined up with 140. Once I have made my little mark using the protractor, we again want to form two rays that begin in the same location. Let's see what this looks like. As you can see, the two rays begin in the same location. The two arrows are relatively far apart, so this angle is going to be greater than 90 degrees. This particular angle 
has a measurement of exactly 140 degrees. Thank you very much for joining me today. Hopefully you feel comfortable with measuring angles and also sketching them.